All right, guys, so I'm here at the Las Cruces Convention Center. It is the 2014 Mesilla Valley Outdoor Expo, and we're going to go inside and check it out and see what's going on. So let's go see. Good morning. Welcome to the expo. East of here, uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Our club sponsors the kids yeah. fishing yeah. clinics. We work with the game yeah, fish uh, to promote fly fishing in the area. Uh, we do the fly tying and we do the fishing and the casting. And we have a mentoring program to teach people how to uh, fly fish, and we also support Project Healing Waters. Project Healing Waters uh, introduces wounded warriors and disabled vets into fly fishing. And absolutely no cost to them. We even provide them uh, with a license to fish in uh, New Mexico. Uh, it's been a, a real program for us, a real good program for us. Uh, we get uh, approximately 80 to 100 uh, disabled uh, vets and wounded warriors a year into fly fishing. It's been a real good program. Uh, here Tom is uh, tying one of the flies. Uh, and he has just finished this fly. That's the one that we have. How rumors get started. And we do we have, have monthly a fly tying. We, we have a fly tying uh, once, a, once a month at the club. Uh, we have the uh, vices and everything for everybody. We also have an annual banquet that, that supports the club. And we stocked the river. We just stocked a thousand trout up on the Rio Panasco. Wow. And it's working out really well. All right. Where, where can people find you? We are on the website, uh, Mesilla Valley Fly Fishers. And to go to the website, it's uh, mvff.org and uh, do it in there, you'll find our newsletter and it will tell you all about us, how to get into it. Also has a section in there about the uh, Project Healing Waters. Do you guys have a Facebook page? That we don't have. Oh no? No, our, our guys are all too old to know how to wreck it out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well thank you guys, right, I appreciate thank it. You. Appreciate it.
You see how it just lands in a pile? It doesn't straighten out. So that's the other key thing when you're learning to fly cast is that, is that keeping your hand force on, a little flick at the end, and wait long enough for that fly line to straighten out behind you. And then it's okay to look back. After a while, you get a feel for what the rod is doing. You feel it in your hand. Um, so, you know, that's what we're trying to do is, is extend that line all the way out so that, you know, let's just say the gentleman right there, say you're a fish and the current's going towards you, I'm trying to land that fly right in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> right in front of you so that, you know, that fish will come. So, uh, if she's there, John's Tax Jeremy. I'm John Pontero. This is my business. Little John's. These are some of my mounts. Here's a couple crews. Alright. What else you got? Uh, I have a website at uh, royaljohnstaxfirmy.com. You can uh, on the web. You can reach me at 575-313-5625. Uh, Show me some of these works over here. Here's a meal there. My customer, Chris Holman, killed in 2013. He's a very good customer. Here's my bull I killed two years ago. I took it to an NTA show and I got a second on him. Pretty good, man. And you guys have a website? Yes, my website is uh, Royal John, www.royaljohnstaxfirm.com. All right. Thank you, brother. You're welcome. even got archery lessons out here. Set up and running very soon. You'll be able to see all of our products and have a lot of fun with some of the stuff we offer. For instance, we have the Voltaic portable solar line. We're very proud to have the Voltaic line in our store. It's an extremely sturdy unit, holds up into an old school CD case, has four watts of power. You have a 4,000 amp battery inside of here. The solar will charge in one's typical solar day, fill the battery, and for my cell phone when it's dead, I can get two yeah. full charges out of this little battery on my cell phone. So if you're doing anything for fun out in the wilderness or out in the backyard and you just want to either lower your footprint or you just want to have something for backup, Voltaic's definitely the way to go. It comes in all shapes and sizes. So check us out at Reliance Outdoor Supply and come by and see us. Laser tag. Let's go check it out. Sean Gifford with uh, Zia Kayak Outfitters. I'm a Hobie Fishing Team member and uh, talked a little bit about the Hobie Pro Angler 14. They come in two sizes, the 14 and the 12. It is the <clears throat> premier kayak uh, fishing platform that we have. This boat's designed to be stood in so you can fish while you're standing up as well as sitting down. Um, it has a Mirage Drive which allows you to move to the water by moving your feet back and forth in a walking motion as opposed to paddling, so both hands are free. Um, I come from a bass tournament, uh, fiberglass bass boat background. Uh, if you told me I was ever going to get out of one of those to get into one of these, I'd have told you you were crazy. Um, I love this. This is basically my bass boat without a big motor. They are stealthy as can be. Uh, 
thoroughly enjoy fishing out of this boat. The seat is the most comfortable thing. Um, six way adjustable, up down, a high low position, a lumbar support. Um, takes all of my electronics. In fact, we even have one in the shop that has a hydro wave on it. Um, it holds six eight foot rods, if that's what you want. It'll hold up to 600 pounds to tackle. Uh, and I just absolutely love fishing out of it. I do all of my tournament pre-fishing out of this boat. Um, it's just a fantastic machine. Um, it's all kinds of, of fun. Um, we're out of Elephant Butte. Um, if you come to the Y where the gas station is, and stay to your right. We're right across the street from the fire station at the Bleaking Yellow Lights. Um, you can also visit our webpage at Zia Kayak Outfitters. Um, or you can reach us at 575 744 4185. 4185. Um, just give us a call. Um, you can talk to myself or Russ anytime. We're there seven days a week. We, in addition to kayaks, we also carry um, tournament quality <laughs> fishing tackle and everything that you want to see. Um, Come out and see us. It's about a mile off the highway. And then you'll see our new development. And then you saw all the way two miles in. So what's your name? I'm Mark Chavez. Mark Chavez, and what do you do? Well, I'm a part-time chainsaw artist. Actually retired from the fire department in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Oh, okay. Retired firefighter. And uh, I noticed you got a bear there, huh? Yep. Um, doing some work on this guy. Started it this morning. We're just about done with the carving part. The next part will be the, the finishing part. Okay. And then, uh, do you have a website or anything where people can get a hold of you? Yeah, I do have a website. It's SadiaBearCompany.com. But you can always just Google Chainsaw Carvers New Mexico, and I, I'll usually come up at the top. Uh, but I'm out, out of Albuquerque, so uh, easy to find. We have a big event at the Balloon, Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta every year. Uh, with the, we get top carvers from all over the world to come to our Chainsaw Carving event. All right. You want to show me some of, some of your carving? Sure. Oh, all right. Fire up the saw. All right. Sounds good. They even have wood carving out here. No, no, no. I've done a lot of Those two are made out of western red cedar. Yeah, and sometimes people say about this wood. I just finished an eagle with a piece of baton that somebody brought me to. I don't do something.
We went and saw your husband outside. Yeah. yeah. He's carving up a bear out there. Oh, he is, huh? Looks good. You guys do good work.
as always, I want to thank you guys for watching, and you guys be ready for a, a lot of exciting videos coming up this summer. I've got a lot of ideas, so uh, I'll start working on those videos coming up here pretty quick. So as always, thank you, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> I like it. It's not real, huh?